Do you find that you're complaining about things happening around you more than you're appreciating them? Or do you find that people around you are just miserable? Well, guess what? It is time for an attitude adjustment and I'm here to show you how to do it. The way we experience and look at life is really critical to our happiness and this is no different than in our workplace. We have really busy lives nowadays and if anything we tend to be on autopilot and not realize how our interaction is with other people and sometimes that interaction can be a little bit on the more negative side, a little bit of misery loves company and it is really interesting that the more positive we are the more ways we have to see opportunities around us and so what I'd like to teach you today is how to bring gratitude in your life so that you can have a more positive working and personal environment. So what are the top four ways to bring gratitude in your life? Well, the first one is something I absolutely love and is a favorite and something we do here at Cornerstone Dynamics, and that is a gratitude board. We actually have a board on our door walking out of the office that allows anyone to write down what they're grateful for. Acknowledging what you're grateful for, particularly when perhaps maybe you don't have any gratitude, really switches the mood and I highly recommend it. So it can be something very in-depth and personal to you that you experienced that day, or it could be something just like the weather, whether it's raining or sunny out. In fact, right now it's raining outside and I would say I'm very grateful to have rain for our flowers and that is a wonderful gratitude to have. Another way to bring gratitude into your life, whether it's at work or home, are gratitude cards. Now. These are things, I'm just gonna reach into my pocket, that we at Cornerstone do all the time. So we have an appreciation and what am I grateful for? And I use these in workshops all the time. I bring them to my clients, we share them with each other, we give them to each other, even internally in our office. But can you imagine if you gave this to your spouse or even your kids too, what a difference it makes. Now, we actually have these printed up. You don't have to do that. You can actually just do a simple index card. But giving someone a gratitude card and really thinking about it and not having them repeat it and just giving it to them and walking away so they can read it and really take in what you're grateful for really has a huge positive impact. And I highly recommend that too. Another really great way to bring gratitude in your life, both professionally and personally, is to have a gratitude journal right here. And what you do is you write three to five things in this gratitude journal that you are grateful for at the end of the day. It's a reflection. So you can take a look and see, you know what? Whether you had a tough day or a good day, there are real positive things and it does switch your mood. And the beauty of having a gratitude journal and everything in it is that if you are having a bad day, guess what? You can flip through it and you can take a look at some past gratitudes to lift your spirits up. Last but not least, quality thank yous. Now, what do I mean by quality thank you? Is not, hey, thanks for doing that, because sometimes it's just kind of like a blanket hey without us really thinking about it. I'm talking about a really good quality thank you. If someone did a huge favor for you, it's critical to say, hey, I want to thank you for that, but put some heart into it and say, hey, Joan, I really appreciate you doing that for me. I know how busy you are and it really helped me out that you were able to get that done for me because it helped me with A, B, C, D. That quality thank you really has more meaning than just a hey thanks or even an email sent out that just says thanks for doing this. Because guess what? Appreciation and thank yous can go a long way in bringing out people's moods and the gratitude, particularly at work. Can you imagine if we all thanked each other for helping each other out? It would be a really cool culture shift. So why bring gratitude in your life? Well, gratitude is a powerful mood changer. And in our times where we spend most of our time at work during the week, having a positive attitude is critical so you can enjoy what you're doing. And more importantly, as I've said before, see those doors of opportunity that are all around us. It's really hard to see the door of opportunity when you're negative, you're really closed off to it. So by changing your mood and shifting it, you see them, which lead to actually more ideas, innovation, more efficiency and effectiveness for yourself. And how cool would that be if everyone had that attitude? It would actually be a really great working environment, something that is so important and we talk about all the time in the business world, great culture. Well, gratitude is a wonderful way to get that done. In conclusion, I have gratitude for you, the viewer. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope that you will take a look at my channel and see some other information that will help you be more effective and efficient, working smarter and not harder. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and more importantly, share this with your family and friends because how cool is it to pass around gratitude and have a more happier, healthier, productive way of living. Thanks. See you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.